Hello, this is How To Bob. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to change the water heater element in an RV. The first step is to unplug all the power. The second step will be to turn off all the water. And we're going to go over to the water heater, and there's a little switch on this particular unit, and I'm going to make sure that's turned off. That way I have no power going to it. The next step is to release the pressure valve. Just pull that up slightly. You might get a little water coming out because it's under pressure. And this will help when we go to drain the tank a little bit later. On this particular water tank, there's a cover over the connection for the heater element. I'm going to go ahead and just remove that by taking out the two screws that are holding it in. Now, as you can see, there's a gas line in the way of me getting to my electric element. So what I'm going to do is loosen that gas line up and pivot it up out of the way. So to do that, I just loosen it up with a socket wrench and simply lift it up out of the way. And then I can pivot it wherever I want. Okay, now I'm ready to remove the two wires that go to the heating element and for that I just use a Phillips screwdriver and remove both the black and the white wire. I'm going to use a water heater element wrench that I picked up at the hardware store for under ten dollars and simply slide that on the water heater element and then I can use a screwdriver, a nut driver, anything to loosen that up and it should just loosen up counterclockwise. And once I get it loose with the screwdriver, I can take it out the rest of the way by hand. And once I get my water heater element out, you'll notice a lot of water starts coming out. So I'm going to go ahead and let that drain out for a minute. I'll pull my uh, pressure relief valve and let it go out. And as we look at the old element here, you can see that it is pretty corroded and you can see the spot here this is where it was going bad so I look at the water heater and I can see that it's a 1500 watt 120 volt element and I can pick one of those up at any hardware store for right around ten dollars so now that I've got my element out I'm gonna take it to the bench and check it with the meter I'm gonna set my meter to ohms and I'm gonna test my meter make sure it goes to zero and I'm gonna show you how to test the elements now you can see the bad one has about 80 ohms of resistance. That's a little bit high, so I'm going to say that this one is no good. So just a comparison, I'm going to go ahead and check the new one, and you can see it goes right down to zero, which means there is definitely a problem with the old one. So I'm on the right track here with my water heater element. So I'm going to go ahead and replace it. Simply put the gasket all the way down, make sure it's flat, not turned or anything. And the next thing I want to do is go ahead and screw the element back into the water heater. And you want to start off doing that by hand so you don't cross thread the element and ruin the water heater. Once you get a couple threads in, you can grab the wrench and I'd still do it by hand until I get a few threads in. Then we can put the screwdriver into the hole and tighten it up. Don't want to get it too tight to smash the gasket, but just kind of snug it up. And then once we get it tight, we can go ahead and put the pressure relief valve closed again. And then turn on the water because we want to make sure it's full and we can check it for leaks. And the next thing I'm going to do is put my electrical connections back onto the element. Okay, once I get the screws on my water heater element snugged up, I can go ahead and put my gas line back in place and tighten that up. Once I get done with this, I'm going to go ahead and do a leak test. I'll put some soapy water around all the fittings just to make sure that I don't have any gas leaks. Just a little safety precaution. And last but not least, I want to go ahead and put the cover over top of the 
connections for the heating element. Again, that's a safety precaution in case somebody would get their hand in there, they would not get electrocuted. And before you put power to the water heater, you want to make sure you have water in the tank. And this is how to replace a water heater element. This is How To Bob. Thanks for watching.